Hi there, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit and I'm so excited to show you today how we can turn a package of wooden clothespins into this. Let's get started. Welcome back to our channel. For this cute craft, all you need is a 36 pack of wood clothespins. I got mine from the Dollarama. You'll need a wood bead for the head, a hot glue gun with clear glue sticks, and then optionally a piece of parchment paper which helps to keep everything from sticking to your surface. Okay, so the first step is pretty easy. We're going to take apart all those wood clothespins. You'll just grab the two ends and twist and then pop off that metal spring piece. We won't need those um, pieces for this particular craft, so you can choose either to make something else with them, I haven't yet figured out what, or you can discard them. Once all of those clothespins are taken apart, it's time to start gluing the pieces together. There are four basic configurations of the clothespins that go together to make the angel. This back-to-back -back version is one of the configurations and you'll need four pieces like this. Then you'll need 16 long pieces by gluing two of the sections end to end. I will show you how to make them all, but if you'd like over at sustainmycrafthabit.com, we have a printable template that you can also use alongside as you're making your angel. You're going to set two of these long pieces aside and then for the remainder 14 of them, we're going to add this third clothespin piece to the side. I find the easiest way to do this is to line up those two little divots um, to know where the pieces go. So just put a little bit of glue on the back of your double segment and then add on that third one. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if there's a bit of variation. Finally, you'll need 18 pieces of just the single half of the clothespin and these are the pieces that we'll use mainly to make the wings. Now that we've created all our needed segments, it's time to start assembling the angel. We're going to begin by making the body piece by gluing together end to end two of those back to back pieces. Now we're going to build off that body segment by adding on those two double pieces, one on both side of the body segment. So just keep note of the angle at which the bottom of the pieces are pointing. Next, we're going to arrange a seven of those triple pieces to create one half of the dress skirt. And so I like to kind of arrange them first before gluing them to see the shape. You'll want it to be nice and curved around the bottom and then you'll see where the hand piece will go. Okay, now it's time to glue them in place. And you're going to work one at a time, starting from the bottom and working upwards. The clothespin pieces do sort of lie flatly against each other as you get going. Now I liked to use the little line there created when you glued those pieces end to end and it really helps to kind of follow that line to create this curve going upwards from the center to the outside along that dress. It's kind of hard to describe, <laughs> trying my best here, but really that template helps a lot and um, just use the images as a guide. After adding on that seventh triple piece, you're going to add on a single as a bit of a spacer right in here. And then finally, we'll add the arm piece, which was one of our back-to-back -back glued segments. There, we did it. We've created one half of the angel's dress. And now we're going to repeat this process to create the other side. 
So again, we'll start with those triple pieces, build a few more if you didn't do them all at the beginning, and keep note of the direction that the end pieces are pointing. You'll see the two different sides point in opposite directions. And again, I'm going to use that line created when we glued the pieces end to end as a bit of a guide for assembling these pieces along the side. There's our single piece and then the arm piece. Our skirt is all done and looks beautiful on the front and back. At this point, you can glue on your wood bead for a head. I have a little cabinet knob here, but I think what would work better are those half beads. This one is uh, one and a half inches across. Okay, now we're going to start creating the wings and we'll use those single segments and really build off of each other, starting at the shoulder and adding one on top of the other. Again, you want them all facing the same direction so that the curved piece or the flat piece is facing upwards. And you'll keep going and making sure that the outside edge is nice and rounded and in the shape of a wing. You'll use eight pieces for each of the wings. We're going to just repeat that process on the other side, flipping the clothespin segments um, over just so that they're now facing in the other direction. But again, the flat side should be up and you're working from the shoulder upwards. And there you go. That's all there is to creating this angel from clothespins. We're going to now use this angel to create a beautiful piece of art and you can mount and display yours any way that you like. I picked up this rectangular wood panel, also from Dollarama where I got my clothespins and decided it was the perfect size to create this piece of art. I started by mixing up some faux stain, which is equal parts of brown acrylic paint and water. So you're basically diluting down the acrylic paint to make it a lighter shade, which can then act as a stain for the wood. So I brushed that onto the entire panel, including the frame section, and then dried that with my heat tool just to speed up the process. Once my faux stain was dry, I applied a generous coat of Elmer's school glue because we're going to create a paint crackle effect here. After spreading that around completely um, using a paintbrush and you just want to get a nice coat, the thicker the paint and glue that you use, the bigger the crackles are. And I like to brush in different directions, sometimes a bit of a crisscross, because this can also impact how you cr how the cr crackle forms. It's really unpredictable, which is part of the fun, but this way um, it's not going to all be kind of in one direction, but a little bit all over the place. Now the key here is to add on your top coat of paint while that glue is still wet. You don't want to let it dry because that's not going to end up creating as nice of a crackle finish, but I'm using my white chalky paint and pretty thick coat going over that panel with the glue. You don't want to brush over areas that you've already brushed because it will pull up the paint and you'll see there's a couple sections where that happens here. I uh, didn't mind it too much because it just adds to the rustic look of the piece, but um, you want to try to minimize that to get the nicest result. And now for the fun part, I like to use my drying tool to help speed up this process of drying the paint and thus creating that crackle. If you leave it to air dry, it also works as well, but a blow dryer or a hair dryer or drying tool works really well for this. And you can see how nicely that crackle is forming as the paint dries and separates. It creates this really beautiful aged rustic effect. The glue can take a little bit longer to fully dry as compared to the paint. So I like to leave my pieces overnight to fully cure before really doing anything else with them. But in this case, we're going to mount our angel right into that panel. I first created a gold halo for my angel using some fine gold wire, wrapping it around a few times and then gluing it to the back of the angel. 
And then next I added some hot glue to the back side in a number of places and then press that onto the wood panel. After touching up the edge of the painted pieces, this is basically how I left my new piece of art. You could also add a bow or some glitter, diamond dust. You could paint those clothespins white, but I just love the rustic look of this and the variations in the wood color in those clothespin pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this craft and get the opportunity to make it for this holiday season and beyond. I think these would be beautiful gifts to make for loved ones, even teachers or friends. You know, you really just need a package of dollar store clothespins and a wood panel and a bit of paint. So for under $10, you can make maybe even under $5, you can make something really, really beautiful for the holidays and year round. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more easy DIY and craft ideas. Bye.